Welp. Bitcoin is dropping, Ethereum is dropping, the entire cryptocurrency market right now, guys, is in fact dropping. And I think I know why Bitcoin is dropping, Ethereum is dropping, and most altcoins are in fact dropping today, guys. Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about, you know, what is exactly happening right now with cryptocurrency because, guys, more negative things is in fact happening in the crypto space. Okay, more. Okay, we saw what happened you know, a few weeks ago with FTX absolutely um, collapsing, pretty much going bankrupt, wiping literally billions of dollars in a matter of a few hours time, literally like overnight, right? We know that happened, you know, a few weeks ago. And now guys, okay, just a few hours ago, okay, I think it was like yesterday or even two days ago, some news actually came out. And if you guys haven't seen yesterday's video, Okay, it was in fact some major news, but today is going to be some major, major, major news. And then I feel like this video is going to be really important. So please stick around, guys. Watch this entire video. I will obviously appreciate that. And I think um, if you guys are watching this video right now, because I'm sort of late to this news, but you guys probably know what is in fact happening. So I'm going to get straight into it. Okay, so Kevin O'Leary. Okay, we know who Kevin O'Leary is. Okay, if you don't, Okay, like you're literally living under a rock. Okay, we all know who Kevin O'Leary is. And he is obviously a big investor in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, right? Before, you know, he, he didn't believe in Bitcoin and crypto, right? We know now that he's obviously a big believer, right? He's really bullish with Bitcoin and crypto. And he's obviously a investor himself, right? In the crypto space, okay? So yes, he does in fact invest in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and I'm pretty sure other altcoins, right? So Kevin O'Leary is in fact um, a crypto investor himself, okay? We know him in the crypto space, okay? He's like the face of crypto pretty much, right? We know exactly who he is. And we know that FTX crashed, absolutely collapsed, right? FTX was one of the biggest, you know, crypto exchanges out there, okay? It was, now it's not, obviously. It's gone bankrupt, right? And absolutely collapsed. And Kevin O'Leary said himself, okay, and I know, Guys, I'm going to show you guys a clip, and I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen this clip, right? This is absolutely crazy. Kevin O'Leary says himself that Binance was the reason why FTX collapsed, okay? So he's saying the reason why FTX collapsed, okay, is because of Binance, okay? And I'm pretty sure that means CZ himself, right? CZ, he's obviously the CEO of Binance, okay? So let me show you guys this clip because this is absolutely crazy. Just listen to this. I hope you guys can hear this. Why do you believe FTX failed? I have an opinion. I don't have the records. Here it is. These two behemoths that own the unregulated market together and grow these incredible businesses in terms of growth were at war with each other. And one put the other out of business intentionally. Now. Maybe there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe there's nothing wrong with love and war. But Binance is a massive, unregulated, global monopoly now. They put FTX out of business. All right. So you guys saw that clip, and I'm pretty sure everyone has seen this clip. Absolutely crazy. Okay, so Kevin O'Leary is saying, okay, you guys literally just saw that little clip right there that he's saying that Binance, okay, is the reason why, um, you know, FTS collapsed, right? Binance did this to FTX, okay? So this is absolutely crazy. And yes, guys, Bitcoin is dropping today. Absolutely dropping, right? You know, literally three days ago, we saw Bitcoin above $18,000. Okay, Bitcoin was absolutely pumping, right? You guys can obviously clearly see that, okay? It was absolutely pumping. And then literally, you know, for the past, you know, 48 hours, even for the past 24 hours, right? Literally just yesterday, we, we did in fact see Bitcoin dipping. But today, guys, Bitcoin absolutely dipped, right? It absolutely dipped. And now Bitcoin's currently back at $16.7 thousand dollars. Okay, so Bitcoin did in fact drop. It was holding pretty well, you know, I'm not going to lie. Bitcoin was in fact holding up pretty well between, you know, $17,000 and $18,000 at one point, but it dropped, right? So now Bitcoin is back down at $16,000. Um, Ethereum is currently at um, $1,100. It's back down just under $1,200.
and BNB is not looking too good at all, guys. Okay, BNB has dropped significantly. Okay, at one point, BNB was at like $290. Now it's at $230. So BNB today, guys, is absolutely dropping. Okay, and we know why. Okay, we know why, guys. Okay, because of this pretty much, right? So this is some crazy news. You know, there's a lot of negativity going around in the entire crypto space for the past few weeks, even for the past few months. Right, like this year alone, guys, 2022 has not been a great year for crypto at all. Okay, a lot of negative things has in fact happened. Right, right, you know, Terra Luna crashing, that was just really unexpected and unfortunate. Okay, so that happened, Terra Luna crashed. And then, you know, something like Celsius, right? Celsius, right? Frozen withdrawals and whatnot, okay? Happened out of nowhere. And now FTX, okay? And now this, right? And now this. Like, this is absolutely crazy, guys, okay? So, there's a lot of drama going on around, I'm not going to lie, and it's just, you know, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it's not looking good for crypto, okay? Because you guys have to understand, everything is pretty much in the reds, okay? Majority, okay? Yeah, you know, stable coins, you know, they're stable coins, they're not going to absolutely drop, but, you know, Bitcoin and altcoins, majority of altcoins in the market has, in fact, been dropping. So, yeah, like I said, Bitcoin is, in fact, back down, at sixteen thousand dollars, it's dropped over three percent. Um, Ethereum now at eleven hundred dollars, dropped over seven percent for the past twenty-four hours. Absolutely insane. BNB down a whopping eleven percent, almost twelve percent for the past you know twenty-four hours. Absolutely insane. Now it's at two hundred thirty dollars, like I said. So BNB has dropped a lot. Okay, XRP today down five percent. Okay, Dogecoin down pretty much ten percent. Cardano down over 12%, Polygon down over 8%, Polkadot down 10%, Litecoin down 8%, Solana down 12%, Shiba Inu down 7%, same with Uniswap, Avalanche, okay, down 10%, Chainlink down 8%. So you guys can obviously clearly see that a lot of altcoins in the market today is absolutely tanking. It's crashing today, guys, okay? And when I saw this, guys, when I saw this earlier this morning, okay, that Bitcoin was, in fact, you know, dumping and crashing, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Every time we see a crash, right, when these dumps happen, when I see, like, a free fall happen, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I get happy. Why? Okay. Why, why you guys are asking that? Like, why am I happy when I see a free fall? It's because, guys, that I see that as an opportunity to buy more. Okay. I do. Right. So I'm investing, guys. I'm investing into the crypto market. You guys know that I've been t telling you guys that many times. I am, in fact, dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin and Ethereum mainly. But I do, in fact, you know, I'm not a Bitcoin maximus or a Ethereum maximus. I always move my money around. You know what I mean? I invest into, you know, other altcoins, right? Altcoins that I believe for long term. But I mainly stick with the basics, which is Bitcoin and Ethereum. Those are, in fact, my main investments. Those are my those aren't fuck my you know biggest holdings okay in my portfolio but i do in fact invest into other coins that i believe long term okay um but yeah today you know obviously we are in fact seeing a free fall so i'm obviously buying guys okay and i hope you guys are in fact as well but yes bitcoin is now back down at sixteen thousand dollars so yeah it's not looking too good for crypto guys at all okay it's not looking good for crypto at all guys like you guys can see it is in fact a red day okay everything is pretty much dropping okay but altcoins sorry uh stable coins are still holding on pretty well obviously right they're stable coins but bitcoin and altcoins we're going down okay we're obviously in the reds you guys can clearly see that so we're going to see what happens in the next few days i will obviously keep you guys updated but when i heard about this okay um and i saw this clip that clip that you guys just watched i was actually in shock you know what i mean i was literally in shock right now so now there's drama between kevin Ellery and pretty much cz right and i didn't even mention this but cz actually responded right um to kevin Ellery. okay and i can't really find that clip but pretty much guys i'm pretty sure you guys have seen that clip but cz called kevin Ellery a liar like he's lying you know what i mean he was literally calling him a liar right it was absolutely crazy, okay? So there's obviously some drama going around with Kevin O'Leary and CZ himself, the CEO of Binance, okay? So this is some 
major, major, major news, guys. Okay, this is absolutely insane. So yeah, there's a lot of drama going around in the crypto space, guys. And I'm pretty sure that's what's causing the markets to drop, right? So that being said, guys, I will in fact keep you guys updated um, what's going to happen with Bitcoin and Ethereum and of course, you know, the entire cryptocurrency market every single day. I'll obviously give you guys an update what's happening with Bitcoin and Ethereum, of course, and, you know, pretty much the entire cryptocurrency market. So stay tuned for that. But guys, just know I am still bullish with Bitcoin and crypto. OK, I'm not bearish. I am always bullish, guys. OK, because I'm doing I'm doing this for long term. OK. I'm doing this for long term. I know for a fact Bitcoin can bounce back up. It's going to absolutely skyrocket in in the next bull market, obviously. Okay. Once the Bitcoin halving does in fact happen, we're going to see Bitcoin absolutely rise and altcoins, of course. Okay. Because we know altcoins have dropped a lot um, for the past you know few months, especially this year in 2022 alone. Right. And 2023 is going to get even worse. Right. So that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you guys have not yet already. I really would appreciate that. And guys, comment down below right now. What are your thoughts right now with Kevin O'Leary, okay, and CZ himself? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know your personal opinion. And on that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. And I'll catch you guys all in my next video. Have a good one, guys.